The Mind, Body and Spirit Festival took place in Durban recently and it was fascinating to discover how intuitives, holistic guides and healers can offer an alternative to healing. Let me share some of the highlights with you. There's a growing interest in an approach to well-being that embraces mind, body and spirit. And the festival offered a fascinating introduction for the uninitiated. The older I get, the more work I want to do on my internal landscape. Yoga and meditation are part of my daily practices, but I want to find an alternative way of self-love. Luckily, I came across the Mind, Body, Spirit Wellbeing Festival in Durban, and I'm sure the festival will open my mind. While some of the practitioners made use of quite esoteric techniques, others followed a more practical, down-to-earth path offering garments that harness the energy of positive thinking and affirmations. Samantha, what is your brand all about? If you look, our children's clothing have affirmation statements on them. So, for example, I go after my dreams. That's something you really want to teach children from as young as possible, that it's not hard to go after the things you're passionate about. Sing Out Loud also deals with gender stereotyping. For me, it was all about how do we redefine masculinity? When I started sketching this, I thought to myself, what kind of message do I want to put across? Because boys have a disadvantage, I find. We always got like, girl power and we want to build our girls up, but what are we doing for our boys? We're saying to them that if you cry, you're weak. So it's just about saying, let boys and girls express themselves. Racial discrimination is also something you deal with. Love for all humanity, it's my favorite one so far. It's just about breaking all of those racial stereotypes and all of the stereotypes that threaten our society. Childhood development was a particular focus. What does Soul Essence do? Soul Essence is a multi-modality company. It started with just me being a voice trainer and having emotional intelligence programs for children, so encouraging the growth and development of children at an emotional level through sound, music and arts. Whoever is needing time to journey with who they are and find their healing. Hypnosis has a long history as a tool for guiding behavior. You are getting very sleepy, is my limited knowledge of hypnosis. So I'm very intrigued to find out what is behind the swinging watch. There's a lot more to hypnosis than entertainment. Leanne, what is hypnotherapy? Have you ever daydreamed? Yes. Have you ever drove an auto autopilot? Yes. So that's a form of hypnosis, where you're in a relaxed, focused state, but hypnotherapy is where we use that state to access the subconscious mind so we can make positive changes. Leanne, what kind of issues can hypnotherapy help deal with? There's actually no limit to what it can do, but generally it's stress, depression, anxiety, focus, ADHD, sports improvement, exercise, motivation, things like that generally, and stop smoking is the most obvious. <laughs> Zaki then had a rendezvous with the cards. I'm lucky enough to have Owen read my cards for me. Okay, would you like to shuffle these cards first? Sure. We'll choose one card from this card. And just stop when you're ready, when you feel And just choose a card. Okay. Okay, we've got to kick up the heels here. Okay. And this is just showing that you are a very bubbly and fun person. You like to live life to the full. And not only that, people are attracted to your vibrant personality and spirit. And this is what you share with so many people. And you inspire people to just be themselves. Thank you. My pleasure. Psychics have long played a guiding role. Suki Claire has come all the way from the UK to share her knowledge with South Africa and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to chat to her. Suki, welcome to South Africa. What is the role of a psychic? The function of a psychic is basically to help someone to clear the clutter from their mind and, and navigate um, the issues that they're having to find the answers which I firmly believe that everyone has the answers within them. What advice do you have for anyone wanting to reconnect with themselves? Something very simple in a day is just take five minutes out. Now that could be something as simple as having a cup of coffee, you know, just going out and sitting in the garden for five minutes without interruption. Literally just sit there and, and try not to think, oh, I've got this to do, I've got the washing to do, the kids are coming home from school, I've got to make dinner. Just take that little break for yourself. It's so important, it recharges you. We may not understand how it works, but if it helps, why not?